In this video series, we will introduce parallel algorithms and its core concepts. This video will dive deep into the PRAM model, explaining the basic of it and how the model had emerged. The video will also provide you a discussion of CREW PRAM model and CRCW PRAM model, together with familiar examples. If you want to learn an introduction of parallel algorithms, you can click on the video Introduction to Parallel Algorithms. The next several videos will provide you example codes to show you parallel algorithms in action. Unlike all serial computers, which follows the universal model of von Neumann, which have the same time complexity regardless of the programming language or computer used to implement the algorithm, a universal model for parallel computation is not known and it's very unlikely that one would be found. Having said that, there exists a theoretical model for parallel machines, which is called the Parallel Random Access Machine Computer. A PRAM computer consists of P processors, all of which have uniform access to a large shared memory. Processors share a common clock but may execute different instructions in each cycle. A PRAM computer is synchronous, multiple instruction stream, multiple data stream, and uniform memory access. Crossbar switching network shows a possible interconnection network for such a machine. It would really be quite costly in actually constructing such a computer. The PRAM model, however, is a mere extension of the computational serial model. It makes the PRAM model easy to deal with in logical terms when designing algorithms. In addition, for many of the more realistic computers, algorithms developed for the PRAM model may be converted into algorithms. The PRAM model serves as a good introduction to parallel algorithms. In a shared memory computer, such as a PRAM, more than one processor can try to read from or write to the same memory location simultaneously. Four versions are available for the PRAM model depending on how concurrent memory accesses are managed. Exclusive read, exclusive write, Concurrent reads or writes are not allowed in this version. This is the weakest version because it allows minimal concurrency. Only one processor can gain access to a memory location at a certain time. Exclusive read concurrent write. This version allows simultaneous write operations, but it does not allow simultaneous read operations. Concurrent read exclusive write. This version allows simultaneous read operations, but it does not allow simultaneous write operations. Concurrent read, concurrent write. This version allows both simultaneous read and write operations. The video will discuss the CRU PRAM model and the CRCW PRAM model. It will first focus on the CREW model, then present how more efficient algorithms can sometimes be developed using the CRCW model. Before proceeding, we will provide a discussion of how parallel algorithms is presented. The algorithms provided will be data parallel algorithms. That is, the processors will execute the same set of instructions on different elements of a data set. The data set will be stored in shared memory. Read from shared memory. If an instruction assigns the value of an element of this data set to a local variable. Write to shared memory if it assigns the value of a local variable to an element of this data set. The only instructions we use for manipulating elements of this data set are reads from and writes into shared memory. For example, we never directly compare the values of two elements of the data set. Rather, we read their values into variables in local memory and then compare the values of those variables. We will allow direct comparisons to variables like n, the size of the dataset. A data parallel algorithm consists of a sequence of steps, and every processor starts each step at the same time and ends each step at the same time. As said earlier, it is unrealistic to have many processors as somebody would want to be available to them. Despite that, an algorithm is provided to present these conventions. Assuming that there is an array of integers s, indexed from 1 to n, in shared memory, and that 
n processors indexed from 1 to n are executing the algorithm in parallel. All of the values in the array s are read into n different local variable stem simultaneously. Effectively, every element in s is given the value of its predecessor with wraparound. Notice that each processor always has access to the entire array S because S is in shared memory, so the pth processor can write to the p plus first array slot. Let's look into an example of CREW model. I'll begin by going into an algorithm of CREW pram model, which is finding the largest key in an array. Any deterministic algorithm that can find the largest of n keys in every possible input only by comparison of keys must in every case do at least n minus 1 comparison of keys which means that any algorithm for the problem designed to run on a serial computer must be big theta mutation. Using parallel computation we can improve on this running time. The parallel algorithm still must do at least n minus 1 comparisons. The figure presented illustrates how a parallel algorithm is implemented in tournament method for finding the largest key. Tournament method pairs the numbers into groups of two and finds the largest winner of each pair. Then it pairs the winners and finds the largest of each of these pairs. It continues until only one key remains. This method can benefit from using more processors unlike the finding the largest function that requires the result of each iteration of the loop for the next iteration. A sequential algorithm for the tournament method has the same time complexity as this function. For example, suppose you wish to find the largest of eight keys using this method. If you have the help of three friends, each of you can simultaneously determine one of the winners of the first round. This means that the first round can be completed four times as fast. After that round, two of you can rest while the other two perform the comparisons in the second round. In the final round, only one of you needs to do a comparison. In this figure, we need only half as many processors as array elements. Each processor reads two array elements into local variables, first and second. It then writes the larger first and second into the first of the array slots from which it has read. After three such rounds, the largest key ends up in S1. Each round is a step in the algorithm. In the example shown, in the figure n is equals 8 and there are log 8 equals 3 steps. The algorithm presented is the actions illustrated in the provided figure previously. As you can see, the algorithm is written as a function. For parallel algorithms that are written as a function, it is important that at least one processor return a value and that all processors that do return values return the same value. The inputs for the function would be positive integer n and an array of keys s indexed from 1 to n. It would output the value of the largest key in s. It is assumed that n is a power of 2 and that we have n over 2 processors executing the algorithm in parallel. The processors are indexed from 1 to n over 2 and the command index of this processor returns the index of our processor. We use the high-level pseudocode if this processor needs to execute in this step in order to keep the algorithm as lucid as possible. We see in the figure that the processors used in a given step are the ones for which p is equals 1 plus size times k for some integer k. Notice the size doubles in value in each step. Therefore, the actual check of whether the processor should execute is if p minus 1 modulus size is equals 0. Modulus returns the remainder when p minus 1 is divided by size. 
Recall that CRCW stands for Concurrent Read, Concurrent Write. Unlike concurrent reads, concurrent writes must somehow be resolved when two processors try to write to the same memory location in the same step. Here, the most frequently used protocols for resolving such conflicts. Common. This protocol allows concurrent writes only if all the processors are attempting to write the same values. Arbitrary. This protocol picks an arbitrary processor as the one allowed to write to the memory location. Priority. In this protocol, all the processors are organized in a predefined priority list, and only the one with the highest priority is allowed to write. Sum. This protocol writes the sum of the quantities being written by the processors. This protocol can be extended to any associative operator defined on the quantities being written. We write an algorithm for finding the largest key in an array that works with common write, arbitrary write, and priority write protocols. And that is faster than the one given previously for the previous CREW model algorithm. The algorithm proceeds as follows. Let the n keys be in an array s in shared memory. We maintain a second array t of n integers in shared memory and initialize all elements in t to 1. Next, we assume that we have n, n minus 1 over 2. Processors index as follows. Pij where 1 is less than or equal to i less than j and less than or equal to n. In parallel, we have all the processors compared si with sj. In this way, every element in s is compared with every other element in s. Each processor writes a 0 into ti if si loses the comparison and a 0 into tj if sj loses. Only the largest key never loses a comparison. Therefore, the only element of t that remains equal to 1 is the one that is indexed by k such that sk contains the largest key. So the algorithm need only return the value of sk such that tk is equals 1. This figure illustrates these steps and the algorithm follows. Notice in the algorithm th that when more than one processor writes to the same memory location, they all write the same value. This means that the algorithm works with the common write, arbitrary write, and priority write protocols. There is no loop in this algorithm, which means that it finds the largest key in constant time. This is quite impressive because it means that we could find the largest of 1 million keys in the same amount of time required to find the largest of only 10 keys. However, this optimal time complexity has been bought at the expense of quadratic time processor complexity. We would need about 1 million squared over 2 processors to find the largest of 1 million keys. This video has served only a brief introduction to parallel algorithms. A thorough introduction requires a text of its own. Thank you for watching. This is the end of the topic on the PRAM model. You can continue learning more about parallel algorithms by clicking on one of the videos in the playlist. The videos would go on with the introduction to parallel algorithms, which will introduce parallel algorithms and its core concepts. And also, videos about getting deeper on parallel programming by having a hands-on approach.